Everybody wants an opportunity. Everybody believes they're selling an opportunity, except most companies don't believe they are. They're selling a job. You're not selling a job, you're selling an opportunity. What's the opportunity? Let me tell you the story of my company. Let me tell you how I started my company. Let me tell you what I learned as I started my company. Let me tell you why that's important. So understand every single recruitment process starts with a story. A story, but a story that has heart. Because everybody has bullshit stories, but not real stories. So every single person I ever hired from the very first day one, I told a story. Hi, I'm Michael Lee Gerber. You don't know me. In fact, most people don't. But the fact of the matter, you will. If you survive this first 30 minutes. In the first 30 minutes, I'm going to tell you the story of my life and why it's the most important story you've ever heard in your life. That's and by the it. end of this 30 minutes, you're going to decide whether or not you want to go to the next step in the process. I'm not going to decide that for you. But in truth, you're going to decide that. And if you decide, yes, you want to go to the next step in the process, then you're going to tell me your story. And please tell me the story in the same way I told you mine. Because if you don't, you won't make it to the third step in the process. <laughs> and it's like that. You yeah. follow me. Yeah. No, so you good. imagine doing that. You can imagine doing that. Can you imagine Ken doing that? But can you imagine Ken now turning to his ex-colonel from the Air Force or the Army who's leading his company? And that colonel now is telling the story of how he came to meet Ken and why it was so different for him than other places he's gone in this motley place called America, where there is no discipline, where there are no warriors, where most people haven't a clue what it means to come out of the military looking for the second stage of your life that has meaning. So you understand how rich the stories can be. And they're not fabricated stories. That's really the story. You understand? Ken tells the story about what he just did. He tells it here and people get fascinated by it because Ken's a real guy and you're a real guy and you're saying, this is what I'm going to do and it's bigger than life. But you understand it's because your passion is bigger than life. Your conviction is bigger than life. And I'm saying that's true of every human being on the planet. Once they understand that they can be more than real life because they're now in the process of working with somebody who's bigger than life. Holy moly, what an extraordinary thing to understand. Yeah. The influence you have, the influence you have, the influence I have yeah. to become a thought leader among people who have never been inspired to go beyond the ordinary, doing it, doing it, doing it, doing it, that is just deadening, deadening, deadening to life source that in fact, every single one of us are looking for. Like me, you know, you're 83 <laughs> and you're still kicking butt at this stuff. So you've got all these books out. You're, what'd you say, 347 you're putting out. Uh, so you're doing all these books, co-author, you're the main author, getting the other co-authors. You're talking on stage a lot. Tomorrow you're talking on stage. Um, you're putting out new books. I mean, what, yeah. what, but, what, what's the, well, obviously the plan is to share the message with yeah, everybody. Let me, let me tell you what it is. Yeah. Okay. Let me tell you the heart of it. Uh, people ask me, so why do you do this? Well, I said why I did this when I started my first company. That was the Michael Thomas Corporation in 19 freaking 77. <laughs> Hear me, 1977. That's a long freaking time ago. When I started that company, Tom and I sat down and it took us maybe three months. We had to answer the question, why are we doing this? What are we really intending to do here? So it became very clear to me four things. I had a dream, I had a vision, I had a purpose, and I had a mission. My dream then in 1977 literally word for word was to transform the state of small business worldwide 
That's why we started the Michael Thomas Corporation, to transform the state of small business worldwide. Thank you.